The story begins with an optimistic and hardworking woman named Chi Yu. She has been recruited as a housekeeper for Lin Zeyan, an attractive young businessman. On her first day of work, Chi Yu begins cleaning the house without realizing Zeyan is there. While she is tidying the room, she is startled to see him approaching her. However, when he doesn't acknowledge her and says nothing, she understands that he's blind. After this, Chi Yu sneaks into the bathroom so he doesn't notice her presence. But this proves to be a serious mistake when Zeyan walks into the bathroom to take a shower. So she has no choice but to see him bathing in front of her eyes, which makes her nervous, but at the same time, she enjoys it. As Aeon steps out of the shower, he realizes there's a female presence in his house. Chiyu then informs him that she is his new housekeeper. In response, he becomes very angry and yells at her, saying that he doesn't need her. Just then, Zeon's fiance, Lu, walks in, and seeing them together, demands to know who the woman is. Zeon seems to dislike Lu, and he informs her that she is the new caretaker. Hearing this, Lu becomes irritated and promptly leaves. After this, Zeon informs Chiyu that he will pay her generously for her services, but she must fulfill three conditions. The first condition is that she follows his orders without question. The second condition is that she must be available to him 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The third condition is that she must pretend to be his girlfriend if necessary. Chi Yu doesn't have any issues with the conditions and she needs the money to pay off her debts, so she accepts. As she settles into the job, she finds Ayan to be a very demanding guy who scolds her for everything and even really tells her to stay away from him because she stinks. This irritates Chi Yu and she remains patient because she needs the money. When she brings some coffee, Zayan scolds her for using instant coffee instead of the machine. She then looks into his eyes for the first time and is captivated by his beauty. But she snaps out of it and realizes he's scolding her and becomes upset. When Zayan stops eating properly, Chia Yu calls his secretary to find out what he liked. After this, she cooks him different meals, hoping that he will finally enjoy it, but the jerk complains every time. One night, Chia Yu enters his room and notices him sleeping restlessly in the throes of a nightmare. Thinking he's sick, she gets closer to him, but he clutches her tightly. She then stares at him and notices how handsome he really is. After that, she spends the entire night tending to him and falls asleep next to him. The next morning, Zayan awakens to a phone call from his secretary who informs him that he and Chi Yu were photographed in his room and the rumors are everywhere. Lu obviously gets angry when she learns about the situation, so one of her friends, Sandy, confronts Chi Yu and insults her. But our heroine is not intimidated and she shouts back instead. Later after Sandy leaves, Chi Yu is approached by a man named Ling who praises her for standing up for herself. He turns out to be a good friend of Zayon, and they exchange numbers before leaving. Later, Zayon's mother calls him and reveals that Lu has told him everything. She then urges him to show his fiance Lu more respect. However, Zayon gets angry with his mother and tells her that she was the one who chose Lu for him and that he has absolutely no feelings for her. Afterward, Chi Yu tells her friend Chang that she is sick of the situation, but she has to put up with it because she has made an agreement that she can't break. After a long day of work, Zayan returns home and is pleased with Chi Yu's work because everything is exactly as he liked. When he catches her snoring on the sofa, he throws a blanket over her and she falls down. The following day, Lin contacts Chi Yu and offers to pay her to accompany him to a party. Our heroine is desperate for money, so she readily agrees. Ling then treats her to a complete makeover, making her look gorgeous. At the party, everyone stares at her because she is rumored to be Zayon's girlfriend. It turns out to be Lu's birthday, so she and Sandy approach Chi Yu and berate her for showing up there. When Chi Yu insults them back, a guy tries to hit her, but her friend Cheng arrives just in time to stop him. Soon after, Zayan finds out about this and scolds Ling for bringing Chi Yu to the party and causing a scene. Later that evening, the lights are turned off and Chi Yu can't see anything. As she feels around for the switch, she accidentally touches Zayan's abs. When the lights turn on, she realizes she's touched him and feels embarrassed. Later, Chi Yu invites Zayan to go out to dinner because his secretary told her that since he lost his sight, he hasn't set foot in an unfamiliar place. She then brings him to her favorite restaurant. Initially, he acts like a baby and complains about everything, but he begins to enjoy the food and the company. Later on the way home, they are suddenly attacked by thugs. Unfortunately, during the tussle, Chi Yu is stabbed in the arm and loses consciousness. At the hospital, a concerned Zayan stays with her and takes great care of her. Seeing him so worried, Ling realizes Zayan is in love, so he gives him advice on how to impress Chi Yu. 
Following the advice, our hero tries to seduce her every chance he gets. And although Chiyu tries to ignore it, she feels butterflies whenever he gets close to her. Next, we discover that Chiyu's father is a gambling addict and he has put his family into financial ruin. When Chiyu learns of this, she angrily confronts her father. She informs him that she's only tolerating him because of her mother who is in hospital. After this, Chiyu goes to a bar. As she drinks, a man begins to harass her. Fortunately, Ling arrives, intervenes, and takes her home. At home, Zeon looks after her. When he walks away, Chi Yu asks him to stay by her side. Surprisingly, he obliges and kisses her on the cheek. The next day, Zeon visits the doctor and learns that his eyes are healing. However, he tells the doctor not to notify anybody about the news. When he walks out, Lu approaches him and tries to speak with him, but he dismisses her and walks away. As days pass, Chi Yu becomes an expert in the kitchen, fulfilling Zayan's demands. One night, Chiu comes down with a cold so Cheng brings her some chicken broth. Zayan is clearly jealous and tells him to leave so that she can rest and recuperate. After that, Zayan tries to touch her forehead to see if she has a fever, but she backs away. At the same time, Zayan trips and when Chi Yu tries to reach for him, she falls on top of him and they accidentally kiss. The two are dumbstruck for a second, then they start kissing passionately. The following morning, Zayan also comes down with a cold and now Chi Yu has to take care of him. Later, his mother visits him in the hospital and asks about his plans for his marriage to Lu. In response, Zayan coldly tells her that he will not marry someone he does not love. Zayan indirectly commits himself to Chi Yu and asks her to be patient until his eyesight has fully returned. At that moment, a nurse enters with the needle causing him to panic, and when Chi Yu sees this, she begins to laugh. Afterward, Lu tries to insult Chi Yu by telling her that she is nothing more than a housekeeper with no future. When Zayan finds out about this, he calls Lu and warns her to leave Chi Yu alone or she'll face the consequences. In the next scene, Chi Yu's father finds her again and asks for money. She submissively gives him everything she has, but he demands more. When things get intense, Zayan interjects and gives the old man his card. When they arrive home, Chiyu scolds Yan for handing over his card since her father is a money-sucking lost cause. However, our hero gets upset because he didn't even know that she had a father. He accuses her of hiding things and this causes a heated argument between them. Frustrated beyond words, Chi Yu storms off. On the way, she runs into her friend Chong, who consoles her affectionately. Back at home, Zeon becomes concerned about Chi Yu and calls her, but she doesn't respond. When she finally returns home, he kisses her forcefully, even though she repeatedly asks him to stop. Zeon soon realizes his mistake and apologizes to her. He then takes her to his bed where she kisses him and the two make love. The next morning, as Chi Yu jokingly pushes Zeon, he tells her not to hit her husband. All of a sudden, he gifts her with a very precious necklace that his mother had given him for his future wife. Chi Yu is speechless and doesn't know how to react. Later at work, she sits on his lap and he treats her quite lovingly. One of the office staff notices them and spreads the news about their boss's affair. Afterward, while making lunch, Chi Yu receives a phone call from her friend and rushes out without turning off the stove. It turns out that Chang is headed abroad and wants to see her one last time. Although he knows he's too late, Chang confesses his feelings to her. However, the honest Chi Yu admits that she likes someone else and walks away. When Chi Yu returns home, she smells something burning and starts to panic. Fortunately, Zayan tells her not to worry as he arrived home in time and managed to turn off the stove. She notices that he has a minor wound on his hand and asks him how he managed to put the band-aid on. In response, Zayan reveals that he has recovered 40% of his vision, making her happy. The following day, Chiu is summoned to the hospital by Zayan's doctor. He gives her the good news that Zayan will soon completely regain his eyesight. Chiu is thrilled to hear this, but at the same time, she is confused why the doctor didn't call Zayan. Just then, Lu arrives on the scene. It turns out that she was behind this whole scheme. She tells Chi Yu that she will fix Zayan's eyes and pay for her mother's treatment. However, she has a condition. Chi Yu must stay away from Zayan. Our heroine thinks about it for a while and accepts a deal for the sake of Zayan and her mother. The next day, Zayan gets ready for surgery and tells Chi Yu that he wants to marry her and can't actually wait to see her when he does. Afterward, Chi Yu cries her heart out and writes a letter for him. She puts the necklace with it and leaves the house. Later, after the successful surgery, Zayan removes his blindfold, but he cannot see Chi Yu anywhere. 
He then panics and leaves the hospital, despite just having had surgery. When he gets home, he finds a letter telling him not to wait for her because she has gone abroad. In the following days, Zayan hires a private investigator to track down Chi Yu, but she appears to have vanished off the face of the earth. Lu believes that this is the ideal opportunity to win Zayan over, but he still rejects her. Five years have passed, but Zayan still can't forget Chi Yu and hopes to see her again one day. Fortunately, his wish is granted when Chi Yu returns to attend a friend's wedding. Soon after, Zayan finds her and is surprised to see that she now has a son. They all go out with their friends, and Zayan asks whether she plans to leave again. Just then, the child addresses him as Daddy. Confused, he asks for clarification, and the kid reveals that his mother told him that he is his father. We flash back five years when Chi Yu met the doctor. Shockingly, he told her that she was three months pregnant. The father was none other than Zayan. Back in the present, Chi Yu and Zayan sit together and sort everything out. He returns the necklace to her and promises that he will never let her go again. Chiu then asks about the woman he's been with, because there was a rumor that he has become a womanizer after she left. In response, Zayan tells her that they were just actresses he hired. The movie ends as the two rekindle their romance, smile at each other, and kiss.